Next, let's look at how symptoms can actually be related to life events. It can be helpful, as we indicated earlier, to ask the patient to keep some sort of record as well in order to look at the links between the symptoms that they experience and things in their everyday life. Look at this excerpt. One thing I don't understand is why, why is the pain more intense sometimes than others? Right. Like, you know, in the morning when I'm not doing anything before I go to work. I don't understand why the pain gets more intense. Stop the tape at this point. If you're playing the patient, it's important that you know that his days are extremely stressful. He has a lot of problems at work, and as the day goes on, he's under even more pressure. What I'd like you to do, if you're playing the doctor, is to try and offer an explanation for how his symptoms are related to everyday events. And also, ask him to try and keep some sort of record. Now let's look at how the doctor suggests a link to the patient and asks him to try and keep a record. Right. And then tell me again what happens during the day? Uh, I get, as the day goes on, the pain gets worse. Mm. Mm. Uh, and what happens, what's happening at work? Well, we've got lots of work to do. Mm. And we've got deadlines to meet. And as the day goes on, what's, what's happening at work? Things are getting more and more stressed and mm. irritable. Mm. People are beginning to mm. snap at each other. Mm. What I wonder, what you're telling me, is whether they're linked together, if there's an association between them. In other words, when you wake up in the morning, mm. your pain's bad, but not, not, not too bad. But as, mm. as the morning goes on, you were saying, and you're anticipating going to work, it seems your pain's getting worse. Is that yes, right? and I'm not particularly doing anything. Yes. I'm sitting down. Yes, yeah. What I wonder is whether you're getting more tense, both physically and mentally. Right. Yeah? Whether your muscles mm. are getting more tensed up. And as that's happening, whether you're getting more pain in your back. Mm, probably are, yes. The question then is, what do I go on? I mean, at work, I'm also moving around a lot and bending over as well mm. as the day goes on. Mm. But yes, I think I'm also getting quite mm. tense and mm. stressed. Mm. I th what I wonder is whether it's that, ten that, that pressure at work that's producing more physical tension in your muscles. Yeah. And that's what's producing more back pain. Yes, it could be. Mm. As well as putting you under mental pressure too. Mm. Yeah, I can see that. Mm. Something I've not thought about. I just thought that it's, you know, the actual physical thing of bending over the computer and getting up and down. That's doing it as opposed to kind of, yeah, right, mm. all the pressures that are going on. I think also if you look back, you were saying to me that you've been under pressure for some time before you got the back pain. But as the pressure's building yeah. up over the last few months, so your back pain's building up. So I yeah. wonder whether there's a link over time as well as what's happening each day. There could be. Mm. I've not thought about it in that way. Because the pain has got worse mm. since I first did the mm. injury. Mm. And I did expect it to get better, and that's why I thought it was something more than... Mm. Mm. It is. Yeah. Perhaps one of the things you could do the next week for me is just to see when you're getting the pain. I think you could diary make a mental note of it mm. and just see what the pattern is. Mm. For example, what happens at the weekends? Mm. 